Good day guys, my name is Ashton here. Today I'm going to show you how to bake ambient inclusion to your game model and export into Brian. If you all don't know what ambient inclusion is, y'all can search it up. And ambient inclusion looks like this, where we bake it onto our game model and give it more realism. So let's hop into Simul 4D now. And first thing first, we want to go to our render settings. And we want to go to effect, add ambient inclusion, and for the maximum ray length, we want to uh, 70. Mission should be about 50. And accuracy should be 100. I'm just going to turn this up to like uh, 60. Flat. There you go. So, I could X out now. So before I move on, I want to bake some shadows to the bottom to up my convenience store here. So first thing too, you might need to apply your material onto the building, whatever is your UV layout for this. The plane. Okay. So this is my UV layout and everything I did in Cinema 4D. So now, since I didn't have that apply, I want to go to create and go to clean. And I want to try fit as close as I want to the building. And that's good enough. So now I'm going to go and select my convenience store, go to objects, bake texture. And now I'm going to go to a tag and I'm going to do the output to wherever the fold is for my object. And I'm going to say underscore AO. Save. I want it to be a PNG. My output is a 2K dash, so that's 2048. You put up the sample in or how much you want. I'm just gonna put mine up to one. Continue UVs, okay. And we go to options, and now we just have to check I'm in inclusion and click the bake button. So I'm gonna pause for a second and come right back. Okay, my bake is finished. Really nice. Good. So what we're gonna do now, we are going to apply the uh, I'm an inclusion bake to the object. Well, to my convenience store. So we're gonna delete the plane now. We don't need that no more. Let's go down material and let's find it right there. I'm an inclusion. Click open. Say no to the pot. And if you look closely, there you go. So it's actually baked it on to our model. Really nice, really nice. So that really looks good. Yeah, good. So now let's hop into uh, Photoshop. And while it was baking, I started texturing it. Notice I put a Transformers poster um, with ice, with an ice box in the front of the store. So let's apply our AO to our diffuse texture. So let's go to File, Open, I'm in Inclusion. Let's name this AO. Now I know I could just use Place. But uh, my placement tool is not working for some reason. I'm going to right click now, duplicate layer, green star, click OK. And so you have this white background, but all you have to do is just go to normal, multiply, and there you go. So we have our, our inclusion baked onto our model. 
I like how the, you know, the dirt is going around it. Just give it that little realism, you know. Put a little bit of tear in the poster. So the white is just really too basic, so let's give it some color. Color. It's a nice looking blue. And there you go. It's okay. So now let's save our texture as a TIFF file. Save as TIFF file. Okay. Okay. Save. Alright, so now we're gonna exit now. Exit Photoshop. And we're gonna move on back into Cinema 40. And we wanna apply that texture on now. There you go, I just use texture. Click no. And apply it again. Uh, yes. There you go. So. There is my beautiful model. Shadows, everything like that. I know this color is really too strong, but I'm just using it as an example. It really looks nice. So let's um export it in export it now. Select it, go file, export as a colada 1.4, you know, DAE. And let's go to the folder where our file is. Store. Click save. And there you go. So I'm going to pause and load up inside Google SketchUp. And you will need play up tools for this. Okay, so I'm in Google SketchUp now. And... It looks good. Really good. Alright. Now we want to select all of it. And right click. Sorry. All of it. Right click. Add a component. Make component. And we want to place it in here in description ways. Alright, and just click create. So you gotta do that twice. There you go. And now we're gonna go to plugins, play up, references. Now you must um have this set it up. Once again, so we go to Cry Engine, the pod we wanted to go to, it will send you into your levels of your Cry Engine folder, and you want to make a new folder called a convenience store. Click OK. And save and exit. Okay. Okay. Now we want to go to plugins, play up, export all opponents and groups. Click yes. And there you go. So let's go inside Cry Engine now. I'm going to pause. I'm going to make a small level and drag it in. Okay, guys. I'm in CryEngine now, I built a little smaller level, I have some birds flying around. <laughs> and now we're going to Geometry Entry, and we're going to Levels, and we will go to Convenience Store, sorry, Convenience Store, and we're going to drag it in. Alright, there, alright, good. And we want to go to the material editor, it's nice looking, or just press M on the keyboard. 
and we want to go to levels and we want to click on convenience store we got master if you notice our material is loading up right now and let's put the surface type to concrete and let's click apply click yeah okay and save and there you go we have our game model and everything inside CryEngine textured and nice fake time inclusion onto your model I really like how the model has shot out the ground I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna go in game mode alright guys I'm in game mode here now and what I see here is really amazing shot is at the bottom that's really nice that plane really help us out nice so guys I showed you how to bake inside Cinema 4D the right way export it into uh, Google SketchUp using the playup tools and then get into CryEngine and that's pretty much it so any comments any questions or anything you might need help just put it in the comments below subscribe and like alright so thanks for watching